24 hours after the tough talking President Uhuru Kenyatta's impromptu visit to Kapedo region in Tukana County, the government has deployed the Kenya Defense Forces to assist in restoring sanity. President Kenyatta, during the visit, ordered the locals to identify the raiders and surrender the guns and uniforms stolen from the policemen. In a way of the security situation that seems to get out of hand, the government has deployed Kenya Defense Forces, which will mount an intensive security operation, first in pursuit of the raiders and second in restoring calm in the region. But as they were being deployed, the National Police Service came under scathing attack over the manner it is handling the security situation in the area. First to take swipe to the service was Independent Policing Oversight Authority, which says there has been lack of coherence among various units in the police unit. The problem starts from the leadership of the National Police Service itself. It's very disappointing, so to speak. Because it, clearly something is, 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 is wrong somewhere. You know? Because as we are saying, that uh, you have to have the right structure that will be able to speak to your strategy. Sentiments echoed by the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights and MPs from the North Rift region who argue that the said summament exercise is being conducted selectively. Despite the need for continuous disarmament of civilians, especially in the Northern Rift and elsewhere in the country, the exercise has been selective, hindering the full realization of its, object, of, of its objectives and long-term peace in the regions. Those guns must be brought back within a day. And we want to see the action the government is going to take. If it is within a day, that's 24 hours. Iyo kushambulia askari ya polisi ni kushambulia Kenya. Because policemen are people who are deployed to maintain peace and security. On our behalf, we pay them. And you to know, to support President Bila Mesema. Sikianza kurudisho sile sapandele, pia ijulikane. Sile simeanda baragui bado ya jarudishwa. Ikitavutu wa wakora. Avadhali wa ingine tutavute amani. Sa hile wa wakora na tavutu wa naserkali. Despite leaders from Samburu region supporting President Uru Kenyatta's stern measures against criminality in the North Rift region, Tukana MPs are discontented with the manner the government is dealing with the situation in their county. Having snubbed President Uru Kenyatta's meeting yesterday, the Tukana MPs are now accusing the president of neglecting them when they had crucial information on planned attacks three months ago. It has become difficult for us to get the president. You, had the president given us audience last in, uh, in September or October, this, pro this issue would not have occurred. We were not happy with the, the, the kind of notice we were given. And also, we were not happy with the, the manner to which the security of this country responds to security incidences. Because instead of being proactive, they are always reactive. They only come and take information on who, how many people have been killed. Kevin Washera, Januar Newsar.